Okay, here we're going to solve this equation, and you see that we have two logs on the left-hand side. This is not good because we don't want to have two logs. But it's okay because, once again, this is going to be an easy fix. You see that we have a plus in between of these two logs, and they have the same base, right? Therefore, we can combine them into just one single log, and the base will stay the same. So we still have log base 9, and let's put a parenthesis right here. What are we supposed to do with the 4 and the x? Well, in the addition situation, we put them together inside and they will be multiplying. Therefore, we'll just write this down as 4 times x. Okay, once again, when you add two logs, you can put them together into just one single log, and the inside is going to be a multiplication. And the right hand side, this is equal to 1. And now what? We have a log equation, the x is inside of the log. The base right here is 9. So what I would like to do is, I will pretend both sides are the exponents, and look at the base 9, I will do 9 to this exponent, I will also do this as 9 to the exponent 1. The left hand side here, 9 and log base 9, they cancel, and we'll just end up with 4 times x. Let me put down 4x. And this is equal to this right here. Notice we are going to work out 9 to the first power. Of course, it's 9. 9 to the first power, and that's how we get the 9. And then 4 times x is equal to 9. Of course, I can just divide both sides by 4. And we are done. x is equal to 9 over 4. That's it.